Hello, Sequoia here. Today I'll walk you through how I made this painting so you can do something in a similar style or using the techniques that you see here. For materials, make sure that you have a respirator mask and are working with the windows open. Then you'll need something to paint on. I'm using a 10 inch Nara round. You'll need a hair dryer. Uh, you're metallic, so I'm using brass by Jacquard. And then two inks. I'm using Cool Grey number no. 8 by Copic. And Lipstick Natural E04, also by Copic. You also need 99% isopropyl alcohol, which I have in this needle tip bottle. I find it really ha helpful <laughs> um, when I'm painting because it gives you a bit more precision. And then I'm also going to be using that squeeze bottle that I just showed briefly there to push the inks around. It's like the ink blower by Ranger, but um, I just had it in the house and it works perfectly. So cover your page with your 99% isopropyl alcohol, then add some brass, and then drop ink right on top of that. Do your first colour on the left and your second colour on the right, and then add a few drops around the page at random. You want to keep a bit of distance between the inks so that they have room to kind of blend and move without becoming muddied right away. Uh, do try and pick colours that go nicely together as well. You can test that out on a scrap of paper before starting your full painting. Then use your ink blower to start pushing inks around the page. This helps them to start blending without drying it right away. The hairdryer can sometimes start drying the inks too quickly so they don't have time to move as much as you want them to. It's kind of like using your breath or a straw, but you, there's no risk of inhaling it, so... That's pretty important to me. And I also find that it helps to bring some of the brass to the surface of the painting. I'm just using a little bit of ink because when it's diluted, um, you get more of the layered transparent effects that you often will see in alcohol inks. Uh, if you look at my shape here, it is somewhat symmetrical. I'm gonna bring it down a bit towards the bottom so that it touches the edge of the page in three places. I like to keep some negative space on the page but you can do whatever composition you would like. My hairdryer is on a warm, low setting, but it does depend on your hairdryer, so figure out whatever works best with yours. And yeah, just keep pushing them around with your ink blower. Um, you could also just use gravity to tilt the page. Uh, then use your hairdryer to start drawing the inks pretty evenly from all sides. Think of it like you're pushing the inks in towards the center of the page. I like to push it evenly from all sides because it means you're helping it to dry rather than pushing the inks around too much. If you push them really dramatically across the page back and forth, you might make the inks blend together completely. Whereas just by drying it gently from all sides and moving quite quickly, it lets the inks stay where they are on the page and stay true to color. So the inks are um, being pushed towards the center and the edges are a bit more diluted. That's kind of the way I like to create a feeling of weight or balance um, and a focal point. Yeah, also definitely use gravity to your advantage. Um, it's a good way of moving the ink so that it drying up too quickly. I feel like there wasn't enough pink here for it to feel balanced. If you look at my three sort of sections, there's um, the left, the right, and then the bottom. They each have some of the gray and some of the pink, so that way they kind of all flow together nicely. As you dry it, the some areas will dry completely, so then you can focus on the areas that are still moving. Like here, I'm on the bottom of the page, and then you'll probably be moving your hairdryer a bit faster as well, just because the area is smaller. So if you go slowly, you're gonna start pushing the inks too dramatically. And feel free to use a paintbrush if you want. I didn't show that in my materials because I didn't necessarily plan to use it. I just always have one on hand. If you think there's an area that could do with a little bit of um, an adjustment or working on the details of the paintbrush, then definitely feel free to do that. Apologies for my ink stained desk and I should have been wearing gloves as well but I forgot
the brass tends to clump and form lines on the edges of the puddle of isopropyl. So I'm using the hairdryer to push the gold right to the edge and that's where it will form a line. This is just a quick video today, so I hope that you will learn something from it. Pretty much continue on with the same technique for the rest of it. You could keep going, but I like the negative space, as I think I mentioned earlier. So um, if you wanted, you could work in those white spaces and keep going. Uh, but sometimes simplicity is nice. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you do paint something inspired by this, make sure to tag me. I would love to see that. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Uh, I will link the products that I use in the description uh, if you are interested in finding them. And I have an Instagram page where you can follow me and see more of my art if you would like. Yeah, I'm also hoping to upload videos more regularly. So if you want, uh, definitely feel free to subscribe. That would be amazing. Um, I'm thinking of doing a review testing Nara, Yupo um, and maybe some other surfaces. So if you'd be interested in that, let me know. Or if you have any ideas of other videos you'd like to see, I'd love to hear. Yeah, so uh, have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care.